Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for a very fun video, I think, today. This is actually very like deja vu-ish because I actually sat here pretty much a year ago to this point and showed you guys these bathing suits, most of them, when I first purchased them. And now I'm gonna show them to you again, minus a lot of, a lot of fat on my stomach, post tummy tuck. Now I am only t almost three weeks post-op so I obviously still have some swelling, but I just kind of want to see for myself if there's been any difference yet or if they flatter me better than they did last year. I have some here that I actually didn't wear last year because I didn't feel comfortable in them. So I'm hoping that when I put those on, those will now feel more comfortable to me. Um, so for this year, I do still have to cover my scar. So I can't wear anything that is super low cut. Um, so everything you're going to be seeing is like either high-waisted bikinis or one pieces, but I'm going to show it all to you today and I'm very excited. I'm excited to try all this on. We leave for the beach very soon and I am so, so excited to hopefully be comfortable in a bathing suit. So without further ado, I have tons to show you. So let's go ahead and get started. This one that I'm going to start with is one that I actually have never worn before. It still has the tags on it. I bought this maybe two or three years ago. It's actually a lemon two-piece. So it has, these are the high-waisted bottoms here. And then it has this like super flowy, I believe this one was from Cupshe, but it has this like super flowy, oh, and the bra strap is unhooked, top where it kind of just like flutters over once you put it on like so. And then it is striped underneath. And you actually can reverse this one to make it be like just striped. Now, I remember when I wore it or when I tried it on like years ago, I didn't like it just because of the amount of like fat that it showed here and on my back and in all of the places. And now that I've had lipo and a tummy tuck, I'm hoping that that is better. So let's go ahead and try this bad boy on and see what she looks like. Okay. So this is the first one and I am obsessed with this suit. Um, so again, I still am only about two weeks post-op, so I still have some like swelling all throughout here. There's a lot of swelling still, but there's no like overhanging skin. It's flat as can be, and it covers my entire scar. So this one, I am very impressed with. Again, I didn't wear this one the last time I bought it because there's the back view there, no fat rolls. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I love this one. So uh, this one's like an A plus for me so far, definitely. I'm very, so again, you can actually reverse it and do it, but I actually like the lemon, I don't know. And this bottom is still pretty compressing and will like provide some type of compression on this area when I'm in a bathing suit, which I really like because I was worried about, about that. So this one is definitely a plus. I still can't stand up straight, but this one is definitely I'm here for this one. Okay, the next one that I'm gonna talk about is actually one that you guys saw last year. So I bought this black one-piece bathing suit with this cutout last year from Shein, um, and I loved it. I wore it all summer long. It has this little crisscross in the front. Let's see if I can turn it around better. And then it has um, a little bit of like a mesh cutout detailing right there. I actually went and pulled a picture of me in this suit in, from that video last year that I'm gonna use to compare to see how this one fits. I liked this one a lot, a lot. It flattered me really well last year, so I'm assuming that it'll still flatter me now. So let's go ahead and try this one on and see what it looks like. Okay, on to suit number two, guys. Oh, now, I don't think that this one, like just showing you guys the picture, looks much different just because it's black, but I am definitely flatter throughout here and don't have like all of the bulge that I had last year, but again, this one's still a favorite. This one will be going with us, definitely. Um, I definitely, like, I don't think you can tell as much of a difference, like I said, just because this one's black, but they're definitely, maybe if I stand like that, you can tell that there's nothing there, but, um, except some swelling right there, but it's definitely, definitely a lot flatter and definitely a lot smoother on my back area. So this one's still a win. It was a win last year when I had the stomach, so I figured it would be a win without the stomach. Next. So this next one was another one that I bought last year and never ended up wearing because it was actually very low cut. 
like very, very low cut and it just didn't work for me. But I'm gonna try it on this year and see if it fits any differently now. And it also was just, there was so much um, like skin in my abdominal area that it was hard to, like I kept feeling like I had to pull it down, like I had a front wedgie. So now that I'm flatter there, I'm hoping that this one complements me better. So this is just this super cute, floral one it has a belt that wraps around in the front this one was from Shein as well last year um so yeah let's go ahead and try this one on and see what it looks like now that i've had a tummy tuck okay so this is the one that i said i couldn't wear last year just because it like pulled so much and it's perfect this year um so last year again i would like have a front crotch and this year I don't. The only thing is it does make my breasts look a little flat, I feel like. So it's probably not my favorite, favorite suit. Um, but again, it's a Shein, like cheap bathing suit. So I don't know. I think I could, I would like it if it had like some, some lift, maybe like, you know, some of that. Think about that, honey. Not better? No. <laughs> um, you know, some lift to make it look a little perkier that way. But other than that. I am okay with that. I think Chris probably likes it the way it is because he doesn't like me to have a bunch of cleavage out. Also, I don't really know how to do this belt here. Um, I need to YouTube that. But I do think I'll be wearing this one this year. I'll, I'll take it with me um, so that it will definitely at least be a possibility because it at least fits this year. And also, I think I'm literally swelling as I'm doing this video. So that's great. So the next one you guys saw last year as well. This one um, had these really cute ruched striped high-waisted bottoms. And then similar to the lemon one, it had the... Um, it's a pink top and then it has the flowy. This has been one of my favorite suits for the last several years. This one has always been super flattering. However, it was big in the waist before, so I'm not sure how it will be now, but I am excited to, to try it on and see what it's looking like now. This one I wore all last summer, this one and that black one, to my mom's pool. I literally, if we were at that pool, I was wearing one of these suits. So I'm hoping that this one still works. I don't plan to buy any suits this year just because my body's still gonna be like shrinking and changing and conforming to its new normal over the next like several months from what I understand. So I don't wanna buy any new swimsuits. So let's try this one on and see what it looks like. Okay, friends, there is a reason I said that this is my all time favorite bathing suit. Um, I meant it last year, I meant it this year. I meant I had this right after I had Finley and loved it, like just postpartum. This is the best bathing suit I've ever had. Like it still flatters even with it being looser and like it is pretty loose throughout the stomach area there. There's my belly button. Um, but it's still flattered. This one's a win. I will always push this bathing suit. Like if you need one, buy this bathing suit no matter what, because God, this is the best. I would try to link this one below. This is, oh, it is kind of sideways. Ugh. Ugh. I can't really fix that because I still have tape on my scar. But anyway, this is my favorite bathing suit. Y'all buy this bathing suit. I will link it below. It is the best. It's gonna be with me all summer through my swelling stages because it's got plenty of room in it for that. So yeah, this one is definitely a win as well. Okay, we have two more. So the first one you guys saw last year as well. And again, I have a picture of me in it last year. This was this, this army green two piece with this top here. And this one I liked a lot last year, but the bottoms were tighter last year. So hopefully the bottoms are not as tight this year and then it flatters me a lot better. Um, but these were the bottoms. Oops, I dropped them. These were the bottoms and they did hug definitely the hanging skin that I had on the front last year, as you can see in the picture that I'm about to show you. I definitely had like a bulge in that area. So I'm hoping again now, I'm hoping in, like I've said in all of these bathing suits, I'm hoping that they flatter me better. And I think that they probably will. These feel very stretchy. Now when I stretch these out, I'm like, oh yeah, that's definitely gonna fit. Before I was like, mm, girlfriend, you're gonna be squeezing yourself into that. Okay, so I like this one, but it's still, like it wasn't my favorite last year and it's still not my favorite this year. I figured out that I think it's where it cuts right there, that it just sort of adds this that I'm not a fan of, although this is much smaller than it was last year. But um, these are still, this area is like my biggest swelling and right in front right here right now. So it just accentuates it. Uh, maybe later in the summer when this goes down more. I mean, it's not terrible and I, I would wear it, but it's definitely not, 
it's definitely not my favorite. It's definitely not the winner, but it's okay, I guess. I do like the top. It is actually pretty supportive. I think I said that last year that this is surprisingly supportive of a top. Um, and the bottoms fit good. They're not too tight or anything. It's just, I think, where the seam hits that I don't like. But it's okay. This is fine. I mean, I might pack it and see what, if I end up wearing it. There's no way I would wear all these bathing suits. Chances are I'll pick one of them or two of them and wear them the whole time anyway, but you know. And then the final one was actually your guys' favorite one last year. I can't tell you how many people asked me for a link of, um, to this suit. This is a one piece from Shein as well. This one was actually in the Shein curve and I got it in the zero XL last year. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work this year, but it was this floral one, this floral one piece with the really pretty ruching in the breast area. And then it had these two ties here at the top. This one, I lied. I said that this one and the black one and the other pink one were my go-to, but this one I wore quite a bit as well. This one was my mom's favorite on me. And so when we went to the pool with her a lot, I would wear this one just because I knew that she liked it. And this one was very functional for like swimming with the kids or jumping in and out of the pool or chasing after Finley. Like it, I didn't have like a constant wedgie. So let's try this one on and then we will reveal which one I think is my favorite. Okay you. guys, so as for far as one pieces go, this is my favorite. It was my favorite last year. It's still my favorite. The only thing I would say is that since it is in that plus size, um, this was the one that was the one X from Shein. It is like, I have a lot of extra right there, but it fits well and it's comfortable and it's pretty flattering if I do say so myself. So. This is my favorite one piece. This is definitely the one piece that I will take um, for days that I just want to wear one piece. So yeah, you can't go wrong with this one. I'll link this one down below as well. I'm going to put my compression back on and my clothes back on. And then I'm going to tell you guys which one of these was my favorite. But I'm also interested in hearing which one was your favorite. So leave your favorite down below. But I'm going to tell you which one is my personal favorite. Okay, I have clothes on again and I feel safe. <laughs> if I have compression and I feel safe. If you've had a tummy tuck, I bet you know what I'm saying. Um, it, it feels, you learn to love your compression. It feels very weird without it. So now that we have tried on every single bathing suit that I own, I am dare gonna say that I think that my favorite this year at this current state with my swelling and all of that is the lemon. I, I don't know. I can't believe this is one that I would never wear before I had my surgery. Like I've, I've never worn it. Not once. I've taken it with me before, but I've never actually worn it. And y'all, I think this is going to be the one. It, I think it's flattering. It compresses in the waist, which I like because I need that. Um, yeah, this is my favorite one. Let me know which one down below was your favorite. Like I said, my favorite one piece is that floral one. Um, so those two will definitely go. And then this one is like the go-to always will take that one, but I'm not sure about which other ones I'll take. I, I don't know. I want to like this one, the army green one. I really do. I want to like this one. And maybe towards the end of the summer, when some of my swelling has gone down, I will, but I don't think I'll take it on this vacation because I don't think I would end up wearing it. Um, I think those three might be the ones that I take. Maybe the black, I mean, probably the black one. Everybody always needs a black bathing suit, but I think we're gonna ditch the army green one. And I actually think that I am gonna ditch this one. The one that I said that actually fit me this year. I think the biggest issue with that one was the breast area. I just felt so like flat and it didn't have any lift to it. And that bothers me. It just, I feel like it makes me look like, like when it's not pulled up and where it's supposed to be, it makes me feel like wider everywhere because they hang and then it makes them like, you know. I don't know, if you're a woman, maybe you understand, but I think those are gonna be the ones that I take. Again, let me know down below which one your favorite was, and I hope that you enjoyed this little try on video, this little comparison, and enjoyed seeing the videos or the pictures from last year's haul. Um, if you did, give the video a thumbs up, and until next time, guys, have a fantastic night. Bye. I feel it.